Lesson 4.3, multiplying matrices. So adding and subtracting, multiplying by scalars, you know, it was very intuitive uh, for a lot of the lessons I've taught. I don't even bother going through the lesson. I just say, here, just try it. It worked out. Multiplying matrices are not intuitive at all. So the first thing you have to do is determine if you can multiply them. So we're looking at rows and columns. There's three rows and two columns. And then if I look at the next one, there's two rows and three columns. So we look at this, and we look at the inner numbers. If they're the same, we can multiply. If they're not, we can't. And the outer numbers tell us we'll have a 3 by 3. That's our answer. So we're going to multiply these. Always row first and column second. Always. So the first row, first column, this is your 1-1 one, one position, is 2 times 0 plus negative 4 times 2. That's 2 times 0 plus negative 4 times 2. And of course we get negative 8. For row 1, column 2, we do row 1, column 2. We get 2 times negative 4 plus negative 4 times 5 gives us negative 28. And as you can see, it's very easy to make mistakes here, and you can write all over the place. I like to do them if our, in our head if we can. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and negative 4 times 8 is negative 32, so it's negative 34. 1 times 0 and 0 times 2 is 0. 1 times negative 4 and 0 times 5 is negative 4. 1 times negative 1 plus 0 times 8 is negative 1. 5 times 0 plus 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times negative 4 plus 2 times 5 is negative 20 plus 10 is negative 10. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 plus 16 is 11. So there's our 3 by 3 matrix. At this point, I have a lot of people who are just totally confused. So we'll go through a few more. Uh, but just remember, do row first, column second, multiply, multiply, add, multiply, multiply. So let's see if we can multiply these. So I like to write in the 1 by 3. That's the first one. And then... 3 by 1, that's the second. Yes, I can, and I'll get a 1 by 1. So I can even do this in advance if I want. I don't usually. 2 times negative 4 plus negative 4 times 0 plus 5 times 3. It's 15 minus 8 is 7. So you can do this one on your own. It's a 1 by 3 times a 1 by 3. This tells me no, so this is not possible. Now both of the next two can be multiplied. In the interest of time, I'm going to do them fairly quickly. You should definitely stop and look at them and make sure you know what you're doing. So. Negative 6, 21, negative 3, negative 27. I'm not sure I did that right. I might have made mistakes. I think I did it right. Negative 6 and negative 7 is negative 13. Negative 21 plus 28 is 7. 5 times 1 is 5, the 0 cancels, and negative 20. 
Notice these are just flipped. So I've tried to prove if the commutative property works, and I've just proven that it doesn't. There is no commutative property. Or matrix multiplication. In other words, order matters. How about the distributive property? Well, let's try them both. Let's see if it works. AB plus AC will do first two, four, negative three, zero times zero, four, negative three, five. We'll get nine negative seven zero sixteen. Let's try it again. See how horrible looking my brackets are. I should try and draw them better. Do a b over here. We get negative eight. Negative four, negative six, zero. Interesting. And we add that to seventeen. Lost my train of thought there. Very easy to do with these. Negative one, four, and sixteen. And just because I'm Perfectionist. Can we redraw all these? So we add these together and we're going to get the same thing. Nine, negative seven, sixteen, zero. So the distributive property works. I don't think we'll ever use it. And they call it the left and the right distributive property. So that you could write it either way. Or this. Usually I like to start a lesson and say, here's the big picture, here's where you'll use this. Metric multiplication does not pop up that often, but it's used to get the heavy-duty math. And you'll look at this and say, I, I would do this totally differently, but I just want to show you how it works. So uh, we have Bill and Sue. This is Bill, Sue. Actually, I'm going to put them in reverse order because that's how they come in the problem. And they score baskets lots of different ways. They score one, two, and three point baskets. Sue has got six, ten, and thirteen. Bill has got five, twenty, and eleven. And we know that they're worth one, two, and three points each. So when we multiply them, what are we actually doing? Well, 6 times the 1 point plus 10 times the 2 point plus 13 times the 3. We're just multiplying out the point total. So we get 39 plus 20 is 59 plus 6 is 65. And then here we get 40 plus 33 is 73 plus 5 is 78. And that's Bill's total points.
And that's just Sue's total points. Just an application of how you can multiply matrices. More than anything else, you need to just practice multiplying and watch out for all the details. It's so easy to make a mistake. That's it. Good luck.